From a perspective not everyone gets to see, Jackie Thurlow Lipish closely tracks every visible change in the St. Lucie River. Pictures as recent as this weekend over the St. Lucie Inlet show blue, clear conditions and some seagrass still trying to make a comeback. It's, it is night and day. A stark contrast from previous years when she says heavy releases from Lake Okeechobee in part damaged this ecosystem. The water was so disgusting and gross, uh, full of sediment, green algae, dead fish. This rebound she credits to having no releases from Lake O since April of 2021. I mean, there is no better impact to our St. Lucie River to have no discharges from Lake Okeechobee. But this weekend releases resumed for the first time in almost two years. I was not surprised. Lippish, who also sits on the South Florida Water Management Board, echoes what the Army Corps of Engineers said in justifying the releases. Water just wasn't receding off the lake fast enough following Hurricane Ian. The lake level still resting around 16 feet, higher than the Corps would like to see before the start of the wet season. And I mean, I can't stand it. I wish it wasn't going to happen, but um, that's high. Thurlow says releasing water now is better for the algae bloom risk. We don't want this water coming in in the summer with toxic algae blooms. It also helps that the estuary had a long break from that freshwater influx. I hate discharges. Congressman Brian Mass at the St. Lucie Lock Monday says he doesn't accept any releases into the estuary as every drop he says is harmful. They create the situation where moving into this summer, if our estuary is fresh instead of salty, that we get toxic freshwater algal blooms. In a letter to Army Corps leadership, Congressman Mass gave, quote, tepid appreciation that the Corps lower the lake before the wet season, but wrote the low level releases planned have little effect on the lake level, but massive impacts on the East Coast ecosystem. If you stop abusing the estuary, nature is meant to heal. Now the wait begins to see how long the releases will last. Megan McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5.